Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to do a little bit of prep work here before I uh, put a quarter panel in. Um, so what we've got to do, there's a little corner window stay right here. I'm going to put that in with the spot welder. I think the tongs will reach. We'll put a couple tacks in here, make sure that window stays nice and sturdy when it's going down the road. Uh, and also in this area, I want to clean this all up. Make sure this is nice and clean, no bleed through for rust. As you can see, it's just a little bit rusty in here. I did take a wire wheel to it and tried to clean it up a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just wire wheel all of this, clean it up, give it a nice coat of primer, some black paint. Um, I'm just using paint for right now. We can come back with scotch Brite pad, do a color match if I decide to. I don't know what I want to do yet in the trunk area. So once we uh, figure out what we're doing in the trunk area, either it's going to go a deep purple, plum crazy, I got a long ways to go before I decide that. So right now, let's get the body panels in, get them fitted, welded in, and we can massage it from there. So we'll just throw a couple spot welds on this, make sure everything is nice and uh, secure. So here we go. And it needs a little bit of a wiggle if you got a little bit of rust and debris in there. Weld it in there. Let's give it a second one. We'll take these vice grips off. We'll throw a second one in just a little bit lower. There we go. Nice and secure. So I've set up a few devices here in order to clean this area up. Uh, what I've got, we've got a big wire wheel sitting on the grinder. We'll clean that with the big areas. Then I'll set up one of my drills with a small wire wheel. That'll get into some of the hard to reach and here maybe. Uh, and then I've got a cup brush that I set up so we can get into different areas as well. It depends on where you need to reach to, what you need to do in order to uh, what, sorry, what tool you need to use in order to get to that area. So once we get in here, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing, clean this all up, we'll put a, put a coat of primer on here, a little bit of paint, and we'll carry on from there. Alright guys, so we got this nice and cleaned up. Uh, what we'll do now is just put a coat of primer on here. Uh, for those of you that noticed in the video, the grinder got away from me a little bit. That wire wheel, it can be dangerous. I'm always wearing safety precautions, earplugs, safety glasses. Um, make sure you wear that stuff. The wires on that can fly out, cause a lot of damage. So what we'll do, we'll put a coat of primer on here. Quick coat of paint, it doesn't have to be thick. I just want to. I just want to avoid uh, bleed through. Make sure that we aren't going to have any rust rust rings or any rust drippings afterwards. Uh, so we'll throw some primer on here now. Let that dry, and then we'll put some paint on. Yeah, I know. I, watch me paint. It's like watching paint dry, isn't it? But we'll just put a nice shot of primer on here. Anywhere that there might be a little bit of rust left over, we'll just coat up. There is a product that you can buy that does convert rust to primer. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have that product right now, but I will be going to my general hardware store, most likely Canadian Tire, and we'll get the stuff that we need to seal this up, convert it over, nice thing with the stuff that uh, you can get at Canadian Tire is swap it over. You spray it on, the stuff turns black, lets you know where there's any rust, so if you want to touch it up, afterwards you can. We'll go all along here, that way we're ready for our quarter panel to go in, and we don't have to worry about uh, painting this afterwards. 
unless we want to do a trunk color match. All right, guys. So here we are. We're at the workbench now. Uh, painted and primed those rusty areas is nice and clean. So what we'll do now, I know that this is a problem area right on this corner where it meets the back sill uh, for the trunk. So we'll grind that down a little bit. We'll make sure that fits. We'll clean up all the edges so that we can get a, get a weld on there. Um, we'll make sure that everything's cleaned up. That way, where we can use a spot welder, we can. If not, then we we'll use a, the MIG welder. We'll put a few uh, button welds in there and we'll have it all fit in and make sure that everything's lined up and fitting proper. So let's test fit this beauty and see how she fits. I wind up smacking on this a few times. Just rubbing it. And it's a little bit of a thing to get in position because you want to make sure all your parts line up. Gotta make sure the inner door jam fits in here. Tap that into place. Tap that in. Nice and flush. Needs a few hits over here in this corner because the trunk sill it just isn't fitting properly. So we'll give her a few hits. Not, not a lot to dent the quarter because, well, it's a new quarter. We don't want to muck this up. Put this in nice and nice and secure. I think we're sitting pretty good right now. Everything's fitting nice in the, into the uh, inner wheel wells. Got to hold that quarter in a little bit. Yeah, I'm liking that fit. The trim on that little part right up in here made a world of difference. I think we're ready to weld this thing in. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the uh, quarter panel kind of set in place. We're going to uh, put uh, 20 of the clamps that I have on here. And well, if all you guys know, 20 clamps isn't enough. You wish you had 30. So we'll put this into place. Uh, we'll weld this in. And luckily today, I do have some help. Now I've got my daughter. She's <laughs> under here. She's going to rip this dash pad off. Because as you can see, the dash pad is very much ripped apart. There's cracks in it. It's a 71. It's old. It needs some love. So we're going to put my daughter on this. Talara, say hello. Hi, guys. So hopefully we don't have to pull the windshield out. If we do, we'll pull the windshield out. But this is one of those hurdles, one of those things that we got to get pulled out of here and get things cleaned up. For those of you that wonder if a grown man can fit in the trunk of a CUDA, you can. It's not comfortable, it's not easy, but we fit. So what I've got, my daughter's running the camera for me right now because some of the apparatus I set up in here to record the videos is just a redneck thing. We've got a ladder over here that we got set up. It's got another ladder on it. I put tripod on the, on the rungs on the top, show you guys what I'm doing over here. So I'll get my daughter to come around here. We'll show you that we've lined up the quarter panel to the trunk balance. So up in here, I want this flush because this is a factory seam. We want that seam to show after, after the body work. We're not gonna fill that in. So now we wanna tack it in place. Got my spot welder in here. Um, so we'll just get the camera in here and we'll show you a couple spot welds. We'll put this into place. 
So this is a heavy unit. I've got the light in here. So we'll just squeeze this into place. Crimp it. And burn it in. Once we get a good ground on both tongs. So move up a little bit. I'm just worried about getting it in place right at the moment. You can tell by the buzz on the spot welder if you're getting a good connection or not. So far I'm not getting that buzz. Being in the trunk, it's a little bit hard to move around and make sure that you got a good connection. We may resort to the mag welder on this just because we're not getting the ground. We'll try once more in here. If not, we'll get the 110 Lincoln in here and we'll do a couple tack welds and we'll put it into place. For those of you that have, have used these spot welders, they're not easy to maneuver. They're extremely heavy. Yeah, we're going to spot weld this with 110 Lincoln. Sorry, guys. All right, so I've abandoned the spot welder. I, I don't think I cleaned up on this back edge in here. So we're just going to use a Lincoln. We're going to put a MIG weld in here, just a couple tacks, make sure that it stays in place while we finish off the rest of the quarter. I can tell that I've got a few crinks in the line here because the wire is just not feeding through very nicely. So we'll just give us a little bit of room here. Hold this out. That sounds much better. We can always grind that out later, but for right now, that is fastened in. Alright guys, so we got the back trunk balance, we got it tacked into place. Uh, I've tasked my daughter, she loves welding. Yeah, look at the grin on her face, oh don't put me on camera. But anyways, we're going to get her to do where the roof meets the quarter panel. And we're going to go down the door jam here. I pre-drilled some holes in here. Uh, just some minor holes. We'll plug weld these all in here. And uh, so we'll throw a couple tacks in here and uh, we'll show you the process. Yeah, she's doing a fantastic job. This is why we bring in the professional. We'll just bring the camera over here and make sure she's squinting as she's pulling that trigger on the MIG welder. We don't want any welder's flash. That stuff will keep you up at night. Thing is, I can look at the flash through the camera and it's no problem. But, you know, I gotta have the camera in the way. I don't want welder's flash while I'm recording those. 
So right now it looks like she's getting in a little bit of rusty material, poking a hole through there. Just some nice light tacks that fill that up, hold everything in place. So as she's welding away, in, we made sure that the quarter panel lines up with the roof panel and things are flush. So when we come back with our all metal, uh, metal bondo, we'll fill that gap. If I could find some lead to fill that, I'll fill it with lead rather than doing it with uh, bondo. Just because from the factory they use lead. It, uh, it is an art using, using lead for this. Not many people can do it. I'd love to try it. So here she goes, she's gonna fill up that hole that uh, it burnt through. Put the camera in a better spot here. What I'll do, man. All welded up in here. We'll fill this seam with a little bit of shot, uh, sheet metal in behind. Fill that gap up afterwards. So we'll get her run down the door jam here, fill them plug welds that we pre-drilled. You can see the plug, the drill holes in here. We'll just make sure it's secure to the door jam. That way the window doesn't shake. We don't get wind noise heading the way. And she's still giggling because she's on camera. If I can, I'll get my daughter out here more often. Talara loves welding. She's a gearhead just like her old man. And well, she really wants my car. That I do. We'll finish welding this in here. We'll get along the bottom trim and we'll show you how that's done. Thanks guys. All right guys, so my brother showed up here and we're tasking him in his clean clothes to put some spot welds in here, the quarter panel, the inner fenders. So we'll let him muscle around with this. We'll put some spot welds in. We'll get that quarter panel nice stapled in here. Yeah, I can tell he's just thrilled to be messing around with this spot welder. <laughs> we'll make sure he doesn't laugh as we do this. Wiggle that sucker around, get a good connection. Oh, there you go. So once he gets along the tail pan there. Yeah, he's gonna be cursing me later. Oh yeah. He's gonna, he might need a smoke or two. If I had any alcohol he liked, I'd feed it to him. Okay. We'll pause here. He needs a breather. So we're going to struggle with this thing again. Yeah, he's in his clean clothes, sunglasses. He's making it look good. <laughs> Let's try not to make him laugh. If you guys haven't noticed, I got the ponytail. He's got the sunglasses. We're a redneck shop here. We'll just mess around. We'll make it look good. And if it doesn't look good, it'll look pretty. <laughs> yeah, he's trying not to laugh for the video. <laughs> so yeah, the, the spot welder is extremely heavy. That's why I'm letting my younger brother do it. Because while well, this old guy, he just doesn't maneuver as well as he does. So then we go, he'll clamp that, hit the switch. And we'll put a nice spot weld in there. This way we don't have to drill the hole, we don't have to plug weld, we just fuse her together. Factory welds? Yep, this is how they did it in Chrysler. 
I think he's cursing me right about now because I'm videotaping him. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, he's laughing. Hey right, guys, so we're into a two-man operation. I got my daughter and my brother. We're in here, we're fusing these together. This spot welder does an awesome, awesome job. If you can get it into spot. Yeah, hit her. But you gotta make oh, sure that you crimp her in, you get a good ground, and then it fuses together. Okay. And it's just a fusion weld. It's not a, there's no wire, no gas. It's just fusion. Let's see if we got All right, guys, so these lightweights, they give up on this heavy Princess Auto spot welder. So we'll come in here, we'll finish up these spot welds. We'll get these into place. This is a brute to maneuver. Let's get this into place. That way we don't have to worry about this sucker later. Yeah, my brother's complaining he's in his clean clothes. My daughter, she just can't handle this thing. <laughs> yeah, they're giving me a hard time now. We'll get this tacked in. We gotta move some clamps around. Make sure this is tight. I want the smaller one. Because we got a little bit of a gap in here. We don't want gaps. It's not a factory rebuild, but we want it so that people appreciate what we've done. So down here, we got a little bit more. We'll throw a couple tacks in here. I know the spot welder will grab in here. This is gonna fuse us to the unibody. Make sure everything is secure as far as the structure goes. there. We'll get that brake line out of the way. Throw another deep weld in there. So if you guys can see, we got nice factory button welds in here. We're heading right up into the, into the quarter panel. So all these factory welds in here, this is what, what, what they would have done at uh, Chrysler. Mind you, they got bigger equipment. Everything's heavy duty. But we're trying for the factory uh, factory install. Make sure that everything is just lined up just nice. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we've got the quarter panel tacked into place. We threw a couple tacks in here down the door jam. So what I want to focus on right now is all in here. I want to make sure that this is nice and straight so the minimal amount of body filler that we have to put in here. Uh, if you notice, there is a gap in here. There's a lip that went under the roof panel. I'm going to eliminate that because I don't want to distort the roof panel too much. Um, so we'll just put a back filler in here and weld this up. But for the time being, I want to make sure that we're nice and straight. So coming in here, I'll put my straight edge on. And looking down in here, there's a little bit of a gap in here. We'll move down some. This one's looking pretty good. So as we go, we'll just move and we'll manipulate this, put a tack in. Yeah, there's a big gap in there. So we'll lift that up. Nice and flush on the roof, gap on the quarter. So we'll just push that up a little bit, throw a tack in. Like I said, I want to use the minimal amount of body fill. Um, if I can find it or source it, Maybe with some wheel weights, I'll melt down the lead. I'd love to put lead in here because that's what they did from the factory. So we'll position the camera and we'll get that lined up and tacked. So what I've done is take a nice solid piece of angle iron and I've ran this across, clamped it into place. So we're onto the new quarter and the roof and we've squeezed up that little bit of a gap in there that's gonna make for a very nice finish. So we'll tack that into place and we'll carry on with some of the other alignment issues.
Okay, so we've got it tacked in place. So now what I want to do is come back. We'll take this off. Just give it a quick little feel. And that's feeling really nice. Could almost come up a little bit here. So I'll just come in with my pry bar. Let's check it for a little bit of alignment first before we get too crazy. Yeah, that's gonna allow for some body fill in there. Like I said, I wanna minimize the amount, but uh, it's gonna be inevitable that we have to use it. So we'll just get a little screwdriver, see if we can't manipulate that just a little bit. So this is where it gets tricky. Couple hands, couple fingers, and we'll put a little zap in here. So it's looking pretty good. And yes, that is warm. Don't stay on it long. Yeah, I think that's going to work out just fine. So we'll just put a piece of the sheet metal in behind there and we'll weld that up nice and solid. When you're welding up a sheet panel, uh, because it's thin material, do segments of stitches. Don't run a full bead. You will distort the metal. It'll end up being wavy. Um, so just do like a quarter inch at a time, uh, sorry, three quarters of an inch at a time. Move yourself back and forth around and just go from there. So what we'll do now, I'm going to rotate my camera and we'll take a look at uh, the other spot that I want to focus on. So here we are. We're down where the quarter panel meets the unibody, meets the rocker panel. So in here, I just kind of manipulating, taking a look at this and just wanting to see how this was lining up. If you can see, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not great. We can do better than this. So in here, you can see there's a little bit of a gap. We want that void for fill, and then we're touching on the very end of the level. So what we'll do is put a little bit of pressure in here, and it lines up better if we put some pressure on. So what we'll end up doing, I'm gonna cut this piece off I'm going to cut this off right here, and then we can push this in. Right now, this is holding it out. Um, technically, this should be in behind this piece. So, because of the way we had to fit the quarter panel, this wasn't going to allow us to get underneath. So, we'll just trim it off at this little bend, push it in. I know it's solid material in behind, because this is where we put the patch. So, like I say, we want to minimize the, the amount of fill. Um, We'll get that pushed in and we'll tack it into place, check the alignment, and then we can weld that in solid. All right, so we've trimmed that little piece off, that tab. So it's looking really nice. You can see that there was a little bit of a gap in behind. So in here, we'll just uh, manipulate the metal a little bit. We'll push that in. We'll make sure that's a nice tight fit and we'll throw a couple welds on there. But I think right at the moment, if I can find my straight edge, we'll put a straight edge on here and we'll make sure that this is totally lined up, looking good, and uh, we'll buzz it in. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of redneck ingenuity here. Um, it's a small shop, we use what we've got. So what I need to do is push that quarter up into the rocker so we can put a tack on there. I'm gonna get my daughter here, she's gonna push down on the stick. We're gonna get it nice and close and we're gonna put a couple tacks in there. Okay, so here we go. Yep, push that down right there.
think we still got some lead in here, so we'll just try and burn that out a little bit, get down to the metal. Okay, we'll release that off, and we'll just see if it stuck. Yeah, and it did. So let's move up to the top here. We'll move that up and put some pressure on there, and we'll put another tack. That sounds much better. Okay, and then we'll just come up a little bit higher. I think we need another board in here just to give us a little more of a pivot. So we'll put this in here, and we'll just push right up in that corner, right on that ledge. Don't, 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 don't move in. I'm trying not to, but I gotta get pressure somehow. And right there is gonna work just fine. I think this is going to work just fine for us. That fills up the gap. We'll run a bead down here a little bit later, grind it down, check for flush. So now that we got the quarter panel welded in, uh, it's in place. We got to manipulate a little bit more. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with me uh, filling in welds or anything like that. So next week, uh, I think uh, hopefully next week I can get another video posted. Uh, try and do weekly. So what we'll do next week, we'll tackle the trunk pans, uh, the extenders, and uh, we'll just show you what we're working with. Down in here, we got the trunk extender that needs to go on both sides. So passenger and drivers. Uh, we'll tackle the trunk. We'll get it welded down to, to the uh, back seat hump there. Um, we'll get that welded down. We'll go as far as we can with uh, putting it on there. We'll weld up the back here along the sill, and then we'll put uh, the, the inner fenders to the trunk pan. Uh, we'll just go as far as we can, make sure that it's all filled in. So please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, your comments are more than welcome. I'd, like to, uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on this, um, whether I'm doing something that I shouldn't be, if you guys can recommend, if you're enjoying the videos. Like I say, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll try and keep you updated. Thanks for watching.